This is all for you. Say cheese. G'day. How you going? This video is all about filming in the workshop and what I use and what I've recently got that I'm going to modify to suit my needs. So, start with these little ones. This is a little clamp. See in there. Clamp that stuff. This opens up. Pretty cool. Got these little ones. And I'm going to make them out. Uh, this particular one's going to be mounted to my lathe. So it's got a quarter inch right there and there. And again, it opens up. I'm really happy with this one. It's got a little remote here. So I'll turn it on. It should pair to you, and then I'm going to turn you off. Turn you back on. Okay. Pretty cool. Turn that off in case I accidentally do it. This is a selfie stick, but it's more than a selfie stick. This opens up. This was really cheap, by the way. I'm very surprised at how cool it is. This thing gets really long. Uh, 1.8 meters or 6 foot. I am short, yes. Uh, it's quite stable. I'm going to throw your legs are quite wide. This thing also spring activated, swivels. Pretty cool. Back that away. And look how tight it pulls up. Yeah. It takes up no yeah. room at all. We've got this guy. This one's annoying because once you have your phone on it, there's weight on the end of it and it wobbles. It's not very stable. And I got uh, that guy over there with my iPhone 12 on it sitting on a drum because it's not very tall and then I got this one this one it's pretty cool I guess legs move around you can wrap it around stuff or you can just have it sitting wherever so I'm going to be making a mount for this one to go on my lathe and it's going to attach to the tool post and uh, I should be able to Get some cool shots of this the phone or the camera the screen uh, traveling with the tool so i think that'd be cool i like uh, watching turning videos uh, this old old tony in particular cool stuff and he has lots of uh, dynamic shots of the, the the camera following the tool as it's cutting and i think that makes for a, a very interesting watch I'm gonna do the same thing. Let's get started on making a lathe mount with this little guy. It's got these bits. These are off the old pedal assembly for the pedal car. Decided to use both of them. And that way I can adjust it a bit more. Literally pulled this out of the uh, scrap bin I got down there. Also off the pedal car. So this will clamp into my lathe. Probably like that. Doesn't matter if it's only held on my one bolt, it'd be fine. This would be welded to here somewhere. Um, probably up like that. Haven't decided yet. This can loosen, this can swivel, go up and down. And then I was going to have this attached to that so I can get more adjustment. This will go into there. Uh, the thread's not super deep, so I have to have that nut on there. And then that bolt. We'll just get welded straight here. Um, I've got to figure out exactly where I want this bolt because this doesn't turn. Um, I can make it adjustable if I put that on there maybe. So this will come up like that. This can spin around and go up and down. And then if I put that onto there, and then have the nut on here, this will be able to spin inside here, so I can have tilt that way and adjustment that way. I reckon that would be the best course of action. Uh, this one's longer, so I'll use that there. And then 
this will simply clamp into the, the tool post holder. And that one over there, this will be able to move like that with the Allen key. And then, yeah, I'll probably go up like that. Roll that onto there. Roll that onto there. And it looks something like that. With this on the end of it. I'm going to rotate that way. I'm going to rotate around. I'm going to go in and out. Up and down. Just like that, we're going to custom camera mount for a lathe. Look at that, I'm directly over the tool. Let's see how it looks. Pretty cool. I was just seeing some vibrations in here. There's not much I can do about that. But, I call that a success. There it is in position. Pretty happy with that. Get me a, a much better shot. Put the tool down there. The camera is over here. So. You gotta think about the offset. And we're directly over the top of the tool, which is cool. That view is so cool. I love the, the way the camera follows the tool. I am pleased with that. This is so cool. I'm watching this camera. You're watching me watching this camera. How about you watch this camera? It's weird. Well, I'm calling this a win. This works brilliantly. I already have these bits, but you can make them quite simply. Or you could use a threaded rod with a nut and a lock nut and weld a bit to that. And you, you can make it out of you know, nuts and bolts really. I'm trying to uh, up my uh, filming game to have uh, more dynamic shots, better shots, different angles rather than just having a stagnant camera. I can move it around easier, two different shots, you know. Hopefully it makes for better filming and uh, more enjoyment for the viewers. So this is all for you. I, uh, I very much enjoy filming, uh, editing not so much. Sometimes it can be a real pain. Um, I'm trying my best to get a video out every week as well as shorts. I'm trying my best to uh, Keep mini hot rod content coming. Um, coming up from school holidays, so I might miss a week or two of um, filming. But hopefully, I'll have enough footage. You don't need to know any of this. Do ya, punk?
Anyway, happy live man. That's very cool. Very pleased with that. This, I'm super impressed with this. I'll never be using it for selfies, but the the uh, the six foot height on it. I can you know, have it low. I can have it high. This is a uh, pretty cool the tilt. It could could tilt down a bit more, but I can have it like that. And then the uh, this. So I'm gonna use this. So I say, bye. And bye.